Welcome back to Film Gob, everyone. It's Shaker, and uh, I know it's been a while since my last video, but we've had some laptop issues, some Wi Fi problems. The Nostradingus may have some cutting edge technology, but not enough, it seems. I can only apologize, my bearded friend. There has been much interference with our systems since we are being attacked by the Marvelites from all sides. Fuck you, DC. Fuck you, DC. Fuck you. Oh well, if Coco Rodriguez says that, it must be true. So let's get into the news, and there's been a lot of it. Take, for example, the DC Universe. Uh, I think it's still planned to release later this year. The pricing we'll get into later in the video. As a service that's going to give you content not available anywhere else, um, it is interesting. At first I was like, is this going to be similar to the CW? Is that the kind of quality is going to be? But the DC Universe, they showed this image of Robin. Everyone's going crazy over it. Oh my God, looks awesome. Looks very kind of DCEU. This show, the Teen Titans show that they're working on, uh, this is going to be geared towards adults. There's going to be lots of F-bombs, lots of violence. And, then, and of course, there's James Wan's uh, Swamp Thing. He's going to be producing that. So this is from the website Flickering Myth. Uh, earlier this week, DC Entertainment officially announced the upcoming launch of its DC Universe streaming service with a live-action Teen Titans series entitled Titans, set to serve as the flagship show of the new venture. Uh, it says, as we await news of the official premiere date for Titans, Splash Report has posted an alleged breakdown review of the pilot episode of the show, which it says is very much not a series for children. Apparently, there are multiple F-bombs and S-bombs, among other swear words, that make it seem like they're going for an R rating. Moreover, the action is brutal, with bone snaps, people being shot, burned and mangled. It's refreshing to see a DC show that's no holds barred instead of shying away from the more mature aspects of the mythology. So when I read that about Teen Titans, or Titans as it's called, um, that piques my interest about Doom Patrol, about the Harley Quinn series, um, the James Wan produced Swamp Thing. But what about the pricing? So I put up a poll on Twitter because I wanted to ask you guys what you thought about it. What price do you expect the DC Universe streaming service to be? 32% uh, thought it should be priced at $5 to $10. 41% uh, of you think $10 to $15 which is like a Netflix price, I would say. 16% uh, of you, uh, 15 to $20. 11% of you think 20 to $30. Because it's not just gonna be, you know, these TV shows, you're gonna get the Batman animated series. Uh, you, you could buy it on Blu-ray, it's coming out on Blu-ray, but I think it's gonna be on the, the streaming service as well. Uh, then you've got the classic um, Batman films, Tim Burton films, classic Superman films, they're going to be there. Not sure about the DCEU movies. Um, they have been available on Blu-ray for a while now. Um, they are available on other streaming services, so why not here? So there you go, Titans, sounding good, looking good. Swamp Thing by James Wan, excited about that. Doom Patrol, Harley Quinn, um, all this extra content coming to the DC Universe streaming service. What do you think the price should be? Let me know in the comments below. Click that like button, share, and of course, subscribe. I'm Shaker, and I'll catch you next time.